Good morning, guys. It's me. It is already December the 20th. It is um, 10, almost 1020 in the morning. I've just walked my dog. It was a short walk because I just, I, I got inspired this morning. Let me give a shout out to a lovely lady whom I follow here on YouTube. And her name is Javier's Mommy for Life, the number four. This woman is beautiful, and I've been listening to her for a while now. But she spoke this morning on what is already in my heart. And I've had such a hard time getting these words out. And I feel like I do it indirectly and I, I try to be outside with my videos because nature is to be honest to be blunt it's where it's at you want to get in touch with yourself um and life sit outside sit outside with the birds and the trees and get quiet and just let it surround you but she inspired me this morning to talk about what is always at the root of what I'm talking about. And I wanna talk about, I wanna address how life becomes, how life changes when um, change happens to you, when you experience something incredible in your life. and. Trust me on this, that's when change occurs. Change occurs when you're suddenly out of your comfort zone, right? Does this make sense? I'm sorry, I'm looking at myself. I hate looking at myself. But long story, story short, I'm surrounded by my birds looking out my kitchen window. I've got my YouTube on over there, fireplace, and on the TV I've got the birds going and I'm listening to um, Spotify, uh, Vince Guaraldi. That's my family's music, by the way. Um, and my dogs are playing in the background. Just so you know, my son could come home from work. He works at the Fed Hospital. But you somehow you think life is gonna go a certain way and life is filled with a bunch of turns, with a bunch of, life is built up of moments, right? Many moments. And life cracks wide open for you when you experience upheaval, you know, or in layman's terms, change, when change happens. And I know I keep talking about it indirectly, but it happened for me and my kids when the divorce happened to us, when it started to occur, when it started to, when the ball started rolling. Uh, anyhow, her, Javier's talk primarily centered on the facts of if you are a woman out there, out, out here in YouTube land, that has been left by somebody. Um, and trying to get my, trying to get my focus, my, my head's a little light because I've had all of this swirling around in my head and I'm trying, trying to figure out the, concise way to get it out without being all over the place. She said it beautifully this morning. Um, but you must love yourself and recognize that this happening was more than just about him not appreciating you. Now I'm speaking from the woman because I'm a woman and my husband for a very long time wasn't happy. And let me be honest with you guys. I will fess up and say, I wasn't happy. 
So energetically, I was not in my correct place, right? And I, I'd like to be able to focus on you. I don't like looking at myself, number one. So you're seeing my eyes. I'm looking around at the universe out there, the nature. That's where I'm going to be. But I'm, you know, my eyes. But I'm going to be right here talking to you. I was not happy for a very long time. And I realized that. And I think back um, when we met and how we met and what was going on in each of our lives. His parents were going through a divorce. Not a good one. He and his sisters had a very close family from what I could see, but I now know. And I truly believe his parents were not happy either. Well, they were getting a divorce. But when I met him, that's what was happening. And from what I now know, his mother was very devoted to him at the time, from the time that he, you know, was little. Anyway, that's, that's his story. My story in this was I had broken up with someone. So see, see what was going on. And let me tell you something, the power of, of energy, the vibrations of what is happening comes into your life and affects everyone around you. We both were in the middle of change. We both were going through traumatic things and we energetically vibrated together. We came together because he needed me and I needed him for both very different reasons. And so I say our relationship was not built on a solid foundation from the get-go. It just wasn't. We were, for lack of better words, we were trauma bonding with each other. Um, his family, topsy-turvy, mom, the mom figure, his dad figure had been out of the picture for a long time. It was very turbulent. And his mom was leaving and he was basically alone. He had two sisters. But for me, I came in because my mom was not in a good situation. I still lived at home with my mom and my sisters. She was getting involved with someone new. Everybody was being affected by relationship change. And therefore it was coming into our home and turning everything upside down. And so we vibrated together because he needed stability. I needed to care for someone and I needed to fix a situation. And so when I came into his life, I think I was helping to ease something that was totally missing from my life. My, I didn't have a dad in my life. My mother had to be mom and dad, always working to make ends meet. I raised my two sisters and the relationship I had just been in was an older man. I was his plaything and I had no clue what I was doing. Uh, he was old enough to know better. Let's just be blunt there. But he and I were together for the wrong reasons. It was just, it's weird. It's kind of like being blind sometimes. And you're learning as you're going. So think about it. When we are created, we are coming into this earth to experience, to play roles. And we're learning as we're going. And consider it to be that of peeling back the layers of an onion and you're refining yourself. You're becoming the person you're meant to be and you are learning on the way and you are learning from upheavals, from change. Um, tower moments, as they're called, unsettling storms that come in because the divine is working to get you on your right path. What is being left behind are bits and pieces of what you thought was what your life was to be. And when you come to this point, you look back and you go, oh my gosh, I, I was not happy in that. Boy, did I learn a lot here. And oh, wow, a lot happened there. And I know now that I cared very much for him, but in love, I'm gonna be honest and say, I was not in love. 
Um, and you guys, I stayed because it was safe. Uh, and then especially when my children came along, we were together for almost 33 years. We were together for 35 because we dated beforehand. That's a long time. We we essentially grew up together and we leaned on each other and we learned off of each other. And I'm so grateful for all the things that I've learned. And when this was happening, the divorce was ugly. It wasn't fun. So talk about other energies, um, attorneys who just were working for the money. And as I've so beautifully heard lately, if somebody tells you, oh, I'm not doing it for the money, they're lying. Because these two who were our attorneys were in it for the money, most definitely sure. And they got money. And in my case, they got, mine got my house. She finagled her way and got my house and literally took it right out from under me. And that was her payment and the gobs of money she got from my, my former husband. Um, and it sent me and my kids on an incredibly turbulent path because we literally had the rug ripped out from under us. You could say, oh, you know, you should have gotten out sooner. Or, oh, you knew what you were doing. Well, okay, that's that's fine. That's a comment for you. And all I can say to that is come and talk to me when you've been through it, when you've been through a divorce uh, with someone and you've had to find your way out of the rubble. It's not fun. This absolutely wasn't fun. I'm getting to see a hummingbird. It, it changed our lives. It was drastic. And so I was not happy. He was not happy. Um, he was messing around with somebody that he worked with and this had gone on for years, years and years. And, and I knew it and I refused to look at it. And I kept trying to reinvent the wheel, trying to make myself better so that he liked me better, which was a bunch of crap. And I was trying to find myself. I was trying to make myself better. My dog is barking. Finn! You must hear the neighbor dog. Finn! Finn! Anyway. Um, went through a divorce. And I learned a lot about life. My kids and I learned. And we are still together, my kids and I. They're more grown up now and they've had to grow up through a lot of turbulence, but it has made them better and stronger and wiser. Wiser and here and here. And sometimes it's got to happen to you before you figure it out, before you become or as you become the person you are meant to be, the beautiful soul that you are meant to be because life is about learning and giving and loving. And what I talk about, or shall I say preach, on my channel, on my Twitter, on my Instagram, is evolving. And what is helping me now is nature is helping me. When I, when I take a walk with my dog and I see the colors and I listen to the birds and I, and I am grounded within myself, and I appreciate what is around me. It's making my heart expand. So you could call it, another word for magic is my heart and my mind are cracking wide open and I am eternally grateful for it. And no, there's not anyone in my life, but the divine. The divine is who I work for, who I live for who I am devoted to and it is the reason for my being and my mission in life is to try and show you that it can happen for you too and life happens out of your comfort zone so you know, some people you know get married and stay together for life or they're independent on their own. They're not happy with 
um, being any different than who they are. And I'm here to tell you that this channel is about showing you that a beautiful life can come from adjustments, from change. And you're busy living on your way to that destination. And Abraham Hicks s says it so beautifully, and but so assertively and so matter of fact that life happens on the way to, you're never gonna get it right and you're never gonna get it done. And you've gotta be happy with the journey you make yourself content on the way. For lack of better words, I mean, that's it. Life is about, you know, living. So I, long story short, I have no ill will <clears throat> toward my former husband. Uh, my children are grown, so there's no reason anymore for us to connect, uh, we don't talk as a matter of fact, because I put a roadblock up over a year ago, two years ago maybe, because I needed to heal. I needed the madness to stop because every time we spoke, there was bitterness, there were harsh words because we each wanted to be right and control our situation. And now I don't wanna be right. I want to love, I want to be kind, and I want to say, hey, I got no ill will, I just want to live my life, I want you to live your life, and I need for you to be happy, because when he's happy and when I'm happy, there will be peace. So think about life like that, guys. Always strive to be the best you can be. Be better today than you were yesterday. Send love and compassion toward people and realize that everyone's awakening at their own speed, in their own time, at their own pace. Be kind, be generous with your time. Don't be a doormat for anybody. Uh, don't give everything you have to somebody who doesn't appreciate it. They're going to use you and they're gonna spit you out and they're gonna keep going. Not everybody but there's a lot of people who are just trying to get to the finish line and they're gonna use you in the process. So start where you are. Like I said on my video yesterday, don't live in the past because you can't go back there. What's been done has been done. It, you can't make it right. You can't fold your arms and blink like Jeannie or wiggle your nose like Samantha and be, you know, make it different. It's about the journey. It's about carving that path as you go, spreading the love and the joy and the wisdom as you go. Be the best person that you can be. Be grounded, be centered, and be real and authentic where you are at. Don't come into your situation, your parties, your gatherings with an agenda. You're gonna stick out like a sore thumb, you're gonna fall flat on your face, and it's gonna hurt you as well as a lot of people energetically in your path. Be that person that you wish to meet. Fall in love with yourself and you're going to attract that person because they're gonna see you. They're gonna see you like a beacon of light. Be that port in the storm for others. That's what my message is about on this channel if I'm gonna tell you anything. So again, Javier's mommy for life. Thank you so much, sweetheart. You are a beautiful soul and you're a beautiful soul and I'm gonna be back and try to be better about being on this channel and not worrying about it being perfect, but just being. And that's what you gotta be too. I love you, I wish you well, I wish you peace and love in your heart. Want that for you, all right? You guys have a beautiful day today and I hopefully the sun is gonna come out soon because I can't stand gloomy. Makes me feel doomy. <laughs> so, peace, I will talk with you again tomorrow.
Bye-bye. Ooh, happy December 20th. Christmas is almost here. Yikes.